good afternoon everyone my name is abhinandan and i'm here to present my e poster on the topic uh, of uh, of physical developer method for the detection of latent fingerprints this is a review paper written by jc sod and jasjit kaur next slide please next slide please Oh, yes thank you the physical developer technique is just a means or a mode to distinguish the fingerprints on a wet or a dry porous paper this the aqueous silver nitrate solution is reduced to uh, to the colloidal and metallic silver by the iron salt solution which, uh, which gets adsorbed onto the fatty acid and lipid constituents of the sweat residue the the result is appear the result is appeared as a dark gray or black ridges of the fingerprint next slide please the sweat in our body originates from three glands the eccrine the apocrine and the sebaceous gland among these three glands the eccrine gland covers and covers the entire body including the palms of our hand and soles of our feet this and this gland pr- produces sweat that contains variety of chemicals uh, as a fallout of catabolism and metabolism the uh, it contains organic and inorganic derivatives such as choline uric acid creatine urea and many other proteins sugars and amino acids next slide please the mechanism behind the physical developer method is the in situ reduction of the the silver ions to the colloidal elemental silver which interacts with the fatty acid and lipid molecules of the of the fingerprint and uh, which are ultimately vi- visualized as dark gray or black ridges this technique makes use of four ingredients the aqueous the aqueous cellular solution two iron salts as the redox couple citric acid as buffer and finally n-dodacyl amine acetate as a catatonic detergent and, uh, the two iron salts used in this process are ammonium iron nitrate and iron sulfate both of uh, the the ferrous iron within this compounds reduces the reduces the silver ions to elemental silver but this process is reversible and the products may reoxidize back to the reactant state to prevent this or to overcome this the citric acid is added the citric acid uh, has two uh, steps in this first is that it it will it is thrust the reaction in forward direction and it will reduce the ph of the environment to mildly acidic condition which is the optimum ph required for the process if the concentration of the of the silver ions increases increases greater than the threshold then the particles may coalesce and precipitate out to prevent this the end order cell amine uh, acidity is added the cation engulfs the uh, engulfs the, the silver ions imparting them a positive charge therefore preventing their coalesce and and precipitation outwards next slide please before proceeding to the main method it is necessary to carry out the the pre treatment even though even though the even though the physical developer method works well on the finished papers these papers contain alkaline filters and binders that alter the composition and the function of the ingredients used so it is pertinent to Uh, neutralize these alkaline filters and binders and the sample paper used is immersed in 2.5% of malic acid solution for 5 to 10 seconds till the bubbles cease to evolve after this the after this the met, uh, next method is proceed the the prime criteria for using the uh, acid for this treatment is that it should not that it should be a, a non chlorinated because because the uh, because the chlorinated acids leave the chlorine residue behind which reacts with the silver leaving a uh, dark background which can which can interfere with the uh, black ridges formed therefore it prevents the distinguishing of the fingerprint next slide please for this method three solutions are prepared the reagent solution that contains the n-dodacyl amine acetate the the redox solution that contains two iron salts as mentioned before uh, with with the citric acid and finally the aqueous cellulose solution 
A detergent solution is poured, is, is mixed with the redox solution and stirred for two minutes, and then added to the and then added to the saline solution and again mixed together properly. Before 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 its use, it is necessary to check the authenticity of this working solution. For this, a Wattman filter paper containing a spot of gold chloride is immersed in the working solution. If the if a if a dark spot occurs within three to five seconds, then this solution is said to be authentic. Now the working solution is poured onto a glass tray, which is kept on an electric shaker of a specific type. Uh, it is it is important to make sure not to overload the uh, working solution with multiple samples and to process only a single sample at a time. The sample is kept inside the working solution for 15 minutes, of, at the end of which dark gray or, or black ridges are observed or visualized. After this, the sample paper is taken out and washed multiple times with distilled water. To enhance the results obtained, the post treatment is carried out. Post treatment can be carried out in multiple ways, some of which are uh, using 2.5 uh, sodium hypochlorite solution or 20% uh, potassium uh, iodine. In using 2.5 sodium hypochlorite solution, the the cellular particles that are absorbed onto the lipid and fatty acid constituents uh, of the fingerprint are uh, oxidize themselves to cellular oxide, therefore appear darker in shade. The, thus, the fingerprint appears more precise and pronounced. But uh, while while the uh, sodium hypochlorite contains contains the bleaching properties, which will decrease the Bread, uh, which will decrease the uh, background color of the paper, hence increasing the contrast for easier visualization. If, when using the potassium iodide method, uh, the redox solution is, is mixed with the 20% potassium iodide. The, the, iodine is the iodine ions are reduced by the silver uh, to iodine molecule, which then reacts with the iodine ions again to form to form a triiodide ions the starch content of the paper reacts with these ions to leave to yield a dark colored uh, background while the cellular ions of the fingerprint react with the react with the triiodide thereby uh, thereby giving a yellow color next slide please Yes, I missed point. Sorry, this is what I explained as before, and th these are the reactions as shown. The other methods include uh, include a radioactive treatment using the using the the sodium sulfate sulfide radioactive sodium sulfide, and also a fluorescent treatment. In using the the sodium sulfide, the the sample paper uh, the processed paper is immersed in the uh, Sodium sulfide solution, which is radioactive, the the silver ions react with the the sodium sulfide, uh, yielding a yielding a radioactive sodium uh, silver sulfide, which can be visualized by by autoradiography technique. Next slide, please. The the demerits of this technique are that it is uh, ex uh, expensive and time consuming, but a uh, cost effective version is available the working solution used has a uh, has a relatively short lifespan so it is necessary to prepare a, a fresh a lot uh, well ahead uh, during the use the uh, the sample paper used will have uh, permanent marks and therefore uh, the paper uh, this method is a this is a destructive one and and the same, and the paper cannot be uh, returned back to its original state. And the water used for the for preparing the working solution must be ultra pure. But this solution can be used on a variety of items, as shown: a latex or rubber gloves, unglazed porcelain, st uh, sticky sticky or non-sticky sides of the adhesive tapes, uh, raw wood, and many other kinds of uh, papers. Next slide, please. 
these are the these are the reference papers that have gone through to make uh, this presentation i thank you very i thank everyone for this